Greetings, everyone. This is Mr. Mall, and in this quick little podcast, I just want to go over this final example. I didn't really have a chance to finish in class very well, um, so I wanted to do that for you. So in this last example, you have um, a variety of forces trying to rotate an object. And so it looks like I've actually got three forces. Um, they're all going to be applied at various points in um, on this rod. And so just kind of identifying, okay, there's my axes there. Um, and with my axes right there, I've got a couple torques that are going to be trying to rotate it clockwise, but a couple of them are also actually going to be trying to go counterclockwise. So when I use this problem, it's asking me to find the net torque on the object. Um, when we did net force, I'm thinking help minus hinder. When I'm thinking net torque, I'm going to think the same thing. I'm looking for what's helping me uh, uh, rotate in one direction and what's helping me, hindering me from rotating in that direction. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to want to calculate each torque separately. Um, so I'm going to look at the um, first torque over here, we'll call this uh, torque 1. And looking at this torque here, I've got my force applied and my I'll draw my little radial line here, um, drawing from the axes. It looks like that the force applied and the radius are perpendicular to each other. So I can use my little um, form of the equation, our perpendicular f. I don't need to worry about um, sine. I mean, I can do sine of 90, but it's going to be 1. So uh, that would work too. Um, so the angle between those are 90. I'm going to use that 0.42 meters times my 20 newtons. And I'm going to get that my torque is going to be 8.4. Uh, newton meters. Okay, so that's my, my torque 1. Um, and then I'm going to look at my torque 2 over here, um, and this is going to be my 14 newtons. It looks like that force is directed at 90 degrees or perpendicular to um, my little radius here. I'll draw my radial line. Um, so we've got 90 degrees there, so I could use um, RF sine of theta, 90 degrees, or I can just use the same one I just did. Um, and when I calculate this torque as being 14 times 0 0.50, I'm going to get that torque 2 is going to be uh, 7 newton meters. All right, and then the third one down here, um, torque 3. A couple of different ways I could do this. Um, I could find that angle between the um, force applied and the radial line looks like it's already given to me as 52 degrees so we can do our um, our radius here is going to be um, well actually I'm not going to use the whole radius here because they give me our perpendicular right there okay. um, so I've got 0.97 meters times the uh, force applied was 85 newtons I don't even need to mess with that angle and I'm going to get that my um, torque is 82.45 newton meters. Okay, so this is torque 3. So now I've got these three torques and I need to figure out, okay, which which direction is this going to be rotating, clockwise or counterclockwise? So I look and see that torque 3 is definitely going to be trying to rotate this thing clockwise. I see that <coughs> torque 1 is going to be going, um, I'll just put it on here, um, clockwise. Um, Torque 2 is going counterclockwise, and torque 1 is going counterclockwise. So it looks like the clear winner here is going to be clockwise. It's got 80, about 80, 82 newton meters, and the other ones are, are much smaller. So that means that I um, am going to decide which direction my object is going to angularly accelerate, and that's going to be clockwise. So I'm going to make clockwise the positive direction. I'm going to make the direction that's going to angular accelerate positive direction. So I'm going to say the net torque is equal to help minus hinder. And I'll put helps minus hinders. Um, I've got all my torques going clockwise minus all my torques going counterclockwise. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to figure out what that's going to look like. Um, and my clockwise torques were torque 3 at 82.45 minus 
my counterclockwise torques. So counterclockwise, we've got uh, torque 2 was 7, and then minus 8.4 uh, was my other one that was going counterclockwise. And my net torque is going to be the leftover, 67.05 newton meters. And I'm going to throw a direction on there, and that was going to be in the clockwise direction. <coughs> or I could say negative 67.05 newton meters um, since clockwise is the negative direction. Okay. Um, so by convention, um, clockwise is negative direction, but for my help minus hinder, I just decided to call it the positive direction because that was the direction that the object would be would start start to angularly accelerate um, due to that torque. So I hope that this has been helpful, um, and we'll see you next week.